bounce stuff. Anyway, um, this should make sense. Now, if we enter, say, one, it would say add nums is not defined because we have not defined these methods. Um, def add nums. Then we're gonna have to say uh, num one equals int raw input. This toy is getting kind of long. Whoa, it's got very long. <laughs> um, yeah, it's gotten very long indeed. What not, etc. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to upload this. I mean, I'm gonna have to do some serious editing. But raw input. Enter your first number. Actually, I'm gonna, we're gonna put this in a try block. Try to do this. Num two equals int raw input. You should understand this code, by the way. Enter your second number. Basically we're just getting raw input and converting whatever we enter to an integer and it's in a try block. So I'm gonna say answer equals num1 plus num2 print your answer is string uh, answer and that's what add nums will do. But then we need to also say accept value error. Uh, we actually don't need to accept it as e, but just in case you want to put the value in as something, you can. So value error print. You did not enter a. You did not enter a number. Please try again. And then we are going to say back to Sam, back to Sam. Back to Sam. Then we're going to say retry. And here we should be able to call one. And I'll say enter your first number 10, 10. Your answer is 20. Uh, as we expected. If we enter A, let's say you didn't enter a valid number. If we enter 0, we will name choice not defined because we're getting an error. Uh, um, just don't enter zero because programs get confused. Let's enter nine. Let's say R, you don't enter a valid number. L, you don't enter a number. One. One? Why is it, why is it saying that for one? Why is it saying that for one? Hold on a second. What the heck? It's giving us an hour for one. Um, this is doing the exact same. Oh, because we're doing as e. Maybe that is the problem. Uh, L one. What? What? Oh, uh, maybe we should define choice plus none. Maybe we should do that up here, just in case. You don't enter about, yep. Oh, one, you don't enter about number. Um. Yeah, whoa. The heck's going on here? Hold on. Okay, I figured it out, but I'm not sure what was happening. It was because we had a calculate input function. What you should do is get all of your code out of the uh, calculate input function and put it into your try block in the retry and in the uh, try block. But one problem I think we're having is zero. No, no. And then 10, 10, 20. Uh, it adds the numbers, but. We would still get an error if we entered 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 because we have not defined any of these functions. So, all these functions are going to do, they're going to do the exact same as uh, enter a valid. And we're going to, they're going to do the exact same as what the add function did, except it's going to be sub.
and a mole. Oh, we're gonna multiply them. Um, can we do double? No, int. I'm just gonna keep them as int. I'm uh, just doing some tests there. Right, the code looks kind of messy right now, at least for me it does. So. I want to separate these out a bit because I actually don't like Python's white spacing sometimes. It just makes things a little bit harder to read. Uh, glancing over it at least, uh, you need to like look at it. and uh, <laughs> It's it's weird how I feel about it. I want to do and divide. Basically what I'm doing, I'm just doing what the what they should what the functions should do. So what was with addnums down here? But addnums is up there. Addnums is up there. So why is addnums down here? That wasn't the addnums I just pasted. So anyway. Um Yeah Hopefully you understand what I'm doing here. I'm basically just making the functions that should do this stuff, like subnums, bullnums, divnums, and modnums, squirtnums, and pownums. Mod. Get the modulus of them. Get the squirt. For the square root, you only need uh, one number. Enter your number. Uh, answer equals square root of the number. Um, yeah, square root of the number. Uh, what was the next one? Pinums. Um. Yeah, that should work. I know so we enter seven, we want to get the exponent of numbers ten, ten, we get that massive number. Um and that should be proof enough to you that this all works. We're getting all of the stuff that we want that we need for our input for calculating numbers and uh this story was kind of long. Uh but uh, hopefully you understood all of this very easily. I tried to make it as simple as possible. Uh, just defend choice up here with none. Uh, so the other parts of the program can access it. If you guess that in your own, you're a Python genius. <laughs> no, I only took well. You're a good a Python either way since you watch my tutorials. Um, one thing I'm going to say though is I'm going to leave a challenge for you. Yes, I'm going to give you a challenge. And that challenge is going to be... Make it so uh, when the user uh, finishes their calculation, when the user finishes doing like after they finish, say square rooting the number, prompt them to uh, choose a number again. Like ask them, do you want to choose the number again? And if they say yes, then prompt them for a number again. If they don't, quit the program and just continue it as normal. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave you with that. You have all the tools to do that and. That is going to be all for this tutorial. My name is Sonic TKK, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Whatever that might be, whether it's Python or what. Peace.